Welcome brothers and sisters, welcome to the final video of Triple Grace for today. My name is Michael, I'm the founder of Triple Grace and the Righteous Pass Movement Foundation. And the topic of this video is treasures and hidden information and messages stored in secret places. Is that scriptural? Many people say, oh, there is no secrets, there are no secrets from the kingdom of heaven. If that is true, then Isaiah 45, verse 3, it's not correct. Let's have a look at it, brothers and sisters. What does it say? It says, I will give you the treasures of darkness and hidden wells of secret places, so that you may know that is I, the Lord, the God of Israel, who calls you by your name. You are called now by your name into your destiny. Through the shadow of glory that will come when the Lord is opening the heavens over you. And he will give you treasures of darkness. Why darkness? Why is it that the Lord is coming in darkness? In glooming darkness, we see it on Mount Sinai. He is coming with darkness and with fire and with the clouds. And then he will give you with the shadow of glory. There you should rest, you should rest in his shadow of glory. And there he will give you treasures of darkness. And riches stored in secret places for you. I was always wondering about these prophetic words years ago, when people received them, said, the time will come when the Lord will send his shadow of glory down onto the earth. And with the shadow comes a chest, a treasure chest that will give you all the riches and resources you need to fulfill your destiny. The time has come, brothers and sisters. The heaven will open over us, like in a Pentecostal outpouring, and then the shadow of glory will cover us, and it will come forth with secret messages, secret information that the world does not have. Why? Because we are in an epic battle now. We are standing against the forces of darkness, and so we have to use the intelligence of the kingdom of heaven to fight the enemy and it will come through this darkness Moses was the only one who entered the cloud on Mount Sinai and he received treasures of darkness and riches from a secret place and when he has received them then he brought them forth to the people there are always people called forth to receive these special messages from the, from the Lord that will come then forth here at Triple Grace, for example, through the gathering place and also through the end-time prophetic words. And you should listen to them because they're coming out of this special place, out of the secret place of the Lord, in the gathering, out of the war room of the commander-in-chief for such a time as this, to guide you, to help you, to assist you, to position you, to allow you to win that war, to be victorious right from the beginning. To run that race and to focus your eyes on the prize because you were sure that the Lord is running with you and that he will provide you with all the information you need and with all the resources. Even your resources as a strong body so that you can finish that race and that you will be victorious. So do not say the Lord has no secrets. Yes, he has secret places where you should stand all the time. You need to come forward and not every information will be on, will be public. Therefore, he has always called the prophets. He has always a calling on people so that these people receive his special messages. Not the whole world in the open, but these special people, this remnant army of kings and priests will receive these special messages and they need to stand together in love, unity and support. And they need to come and listen to the order and the commands of the commander and chief Jesus Christ for such a time as this. So you have to be part of the gathering, you have to be part of the end time prophetic words if you are not yet, the links are in the first big comment. You need to receive the treasures of darkness and the riches stored in secret places so that you are aware what is going on. Stand under the open heaven. Be ready. 
But it's not just only coming and say, oh yes, I'm ready Lord. You also have to step forward into the kingdom, be part of it. When God is calling you to be in a place of the gathering, then you have to be there. If God is providing for you end time prophetic words, then you need to listen to them. Step forward now, walk with us together, stand with us on the battle line, be part of Operation Kingdom. The Lord has called you out for such a time as this. This is your calling, Jeremiah 1, right now. The timing is right, perfect timing now. Around the time of the new year of trees, this is a time when the almond tree is blossoming. This is a time when he always started something new. This was a time when he called the priest into action with Aaron, who received that, that stuff of the almond tree, when it budded, so that he called them forth. This is the time of the calling, for the, when the almond tree is blossoming. And when does it do it in, in, in Israel? Now, in January, end of January. This is a time. And if you're not part of it, then you are not listening to the voices of God. You're not listening to the prophetic voices who are sounding now all in unity. You're not listening, you're not seeing that sudden destruction is coming, not only to the US, but also to Israel and then to the world. We are at the junction now when you must stand with the kingdom of God, when you must be part of it, when you must get all the information and resources you can get to fight that battle, to stand as a son of light against the sons of darkness. Follow that link, be part of the gathering and the end time prophetic words. You should be there. Do not miss out. This is the time when you will invest a little bit to receive the whole treasure chest. This is a time when you invest a little bit and you have the full armor. This is a time when you invest a little bit in the kingdom of God. And then you enter your destiny and purpose, your calling here on earth. This is a time when you need to step forward. Brothers and sisters, thank you that you are listening to these messages. Thank you that you see all what I'm speaking for is the truth that all is based on scripture, that everything is now coming to fruition, that, that we have now the culmination of the seed wars of Genesis 3.15 coming forth in this epic battle between the sons of light and sons of darkness. You see how the world is turning into darkness and you see that the Lord is rising up now the remnant. You see the prophetic words all together in unity. You see that we are at the junction. The almond tree is blossoming now and this is your appointment as a priest and king here on earth in that remnant army. Stand with us all together. Join, be part of it. Walk with us that path. Stand with us on the battle line and fight the enemy forces. Bring in the harvest of the ages and prepare the way for our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Now is the time, not next month, not the month thereafter, not April or Passover or then Pentecost or then whatever comes thereafter. No, this is the time. Now it's the time. Four months, the harvest is ripe, the fields are white, the harvest is ripe and now you have to enter the fields to bring in the harvest into the barn of the Lord. Your calling, Jeremiah 1, is here and it will come forth at this time when the almond tree blossoms. That's also the time when the army from of the north will come for sudden destruction. But we and our ministry, our calling will start and run before sudden destruction will hit. So we are in the last minutes of our calling. You still have time to jump in. You still have time to be standing with us. You still have time to join, to be part of the remnant army of kings and priests. Step forward now, brothers and sisters, so that you will receive the treasures of darkness and the riches stored in secret places. Be blessed in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy, Sp and the Holy Spirit. Amen and Amen. Maranatha.